how's everyone doing out there? So today I've come to Scarborough, which is my third time coming in three years. Uh, so I'll post links of uh, the past two years of uh, 2020 when we had the lock after the lockdown to 2020 21 and uh, now we're back to normal life which i'll be showing you guys later on so if i flip this and uh, this is where we are now so up here guys you've got the grand hotel which is uh, very famous you've got the travel lodge on that side there too and you've got a couple of hotels along here and if you guys want to know where you are in Scarborough you've got the map here which will give you all the information that you need to find any particular place in Scarborough and uh, to show you where I am now here is the bird's eye view of where I am right now it is an absolute beautiful morning as you can see absolutely stunning and uh, if you guys are looking to have a, a coffee or maybe a tea or, or something you've got St Nicholas Cafe which is open right there so if you guys are wanting somewhere to check out and uh, in, in mind the views whilst you have your morning coffee then uh, check out that cafe right there so you've got the famous blue bridge up here and if you look over the fences here on both sides you'll be able to get a good view of the sea and uh, the main road here so you've got the main road coming into Scarborough right down down there and up here too you've got the the sea it's a bit misty at the moment it's about 11 17 a.m but so that's where i've just come from and that is the view of scarborough at the moment you can see a boat out there as you can see and you've got the famous walkway underneath there and it was over two years ago that this road here was only open to one way for pedestrians to walk on during the Covid times. It's amazing isn't it how times have changed, you know. But there you go, it's getting busy slowly. So if you guys are looking for some hotels to stay in Scarborough, you've got the Highlander Hotel just up on this side here you've got the Crowns Hotel which is, which is just further down that side and uh, there's some property development going on this side here too which you'll notice um, they're doing some renovation works all on here uh, I have no idea when that's going to be completed you've got the beautiful view of the ocean here which is absolutely fantastic and on this side here too there's actually a church where you can actually have a full guided tour of the church so if you guys are into architect and uh, all church related things uh you've got this here so if you want a free one hour guided tour Tuesdays and Thursday mornings guys if you're interested in that and that is the name of the church right there you know the one thing I do like about Scarborough is its views its uh, buildings along here you know if you owned one of these properties here you know you've got the view of all this here it's not bad is it guys you know so before we head into the South Beach we're going to go for a little mooch and uh, see if we can discover other parts of Scarborough so well, you got to admit guys you know it's stunning here It really is. So I'm just near the Explander Hotel and uh, I've discovered some of you guys. So right up here 
you can actually chill out under there. So plenty of green around there if you want to chill out there. And uh, it's not too far from the tram, which will take you down near to South Beach. Uh, but at the moment, guys, they are closed at the minute. Um, but here there's some information with regards to what is happening this year. You've got a list of what's happening in Scarborough. So if you want to go and see one of these shows here, scarboroughspa.co.uk, check out the website. You've got Elvis, Tony Skingle, it will be doing that at the Sunday the 20th of August 2022 and it's not open today but normally if you're going down it's a pound and if you're coming up this way it will be one pound fifty you know it's a lovely part of Scar but this is you know it's not too busy you know you've got the nice buildings along here too you know, if you want to find your bearings, then look on this sign here. That gives you a listing of how far places are. You know, it's an absolute glorious day today in Scarborough. You know, it really is, guys. You know, I went to Southport last week. You know, I, sh I shown you guys how beautiful it is. So I am now going on the mooch to see if I can discover more things. And look, there are plenty of places where you can, uh, you know, have a nice little walk. You know, it takes you all the way down to the sea. And if you're looking for another hotel to stay at, You've got the Western Hotel. So if you want to look at prices, do a Google search on them. And I'm sure there'll be links to the website where they'll give you a price of how much the hotel is. You know, this is a nice, quiet part of town. So if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle, before you head into south bay then check out this area guys and it's really nice here uh, very peaceful here And I think there's another hotel up here, which I'll just wait till this uh, car passes. So yeah, there's a hotel here too, guys. It's called the Ambassador. Sleep, sea views, lift, relax. And uh, that is the website. If you want to check that hotel out, this is outside of the hotel, as you can see. Uh, so there are a number of hotels you can stay at when you come to Scarborough. So along Explorer Road, I've discovered this mobile coffee shop. And uh, if you want to know the name of it, it's called Yarn Coffee, which has been established since 2015. So you order your drinks right here. You've got a little menu right here. Um, the guy who makes the coffee right here. He's already welcome to show you guys and you collect your drinks right here. So he's here every day, nine till two. So there you go guys, all year round he's there. So if you're up here and you want to grab a coffee, then uh, that is the place you can go and check out. You may pay a bit more for your coffee but, you know, at least you can have a little drink up here. And uh, now I've discovered somewhere else here. So they're doing some renovation work 
right here, as you can see, you've got some nice flowers along here. And this path will lead to the sea. So this will be a good place to, you know, have a nice exercise. You know, they've done a lot of work around this area, so I've been told as well they are behind the schedule on these projects around here. You know, it's just so peaceful around here. You know, you wouldn't think you're in Scarborough on this side. So if you know where Explender Road is in Scarborough, and you come to this part of town, then come and check it out guys. You know, it's really nice. And uh, when you come to the end of here, you'll get a beautiful view of the ocean. Hiya. So let me show the ocean. And you'll be mind blown guys. So check this out. How about that for a view? You know, it's a part of Scarborough you don't get to see every day. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Right, you guys, and that right by South Beach now, guys, on the main front into Scarborough. And on the weekend of Saturday, the 26th of March 2022, is the punk weekend, guys. So by the time you see this vlog, uh, the festival would have already happened. And Right by the area too is where you get the bus which will take you all the way to North Bay. So if you're a first time and come to Scarborough and you've never been before and you want to get to the North Bay without walking, well that is a starting point of where you get the bus. So I'm right at the front right now of um, South Bay and as you can see it's pretty busy. It's above 10 degrees today in Scarborough so it's not the hottest but it's not too hot either. So you've got the amusements on that side there too. You've got the ferries wheel right up ahead. Because the weather is nice this weekend, the traffic will be, will be pretty bad. So everyone's got the same idea of being out this weekend, you know, going down to the beach, you know, enjoying themselves. So that is the famous place you can go to check out if you want to go on the ferries wheel. So this is one of the amusements that didn't make it through Covid, the Conan Island amusements that didn't make it through the lockdown of over two years ago. You know, what a difference compared to last year and the year before. But as per usual, you got all your t-shirts and all your beach stuff on that side there too. Halfway along, it's in blue. So I'm right by the pier, just by South Bay, and uh, you know, this is where all the, the boat sides you can see. Yeah, we're absolutely blessed with the weather today and uh, you'll probably notice too along the pier that there's flags of uh, Ukraine showing um, solidarity with what's going on so I thought I'd bring you down here and then we'll head towards um, North Bay and uh, see if there are any changes from last year So this is the view, as you can see. 
very very nice view and up ahead it looks lo looks like there's a an eatery place where you can have drinks and stuff not entirely sure until I get closer to it oh yeah so you got a place here so you can have a few drinks on there it's called the Southern Star so that's around the place right there as you can see Here we are. Absolutely stunning today. It really is. Right, you guys. I'm on my way to North Bay, but before I do, I'm going for a little walk towards the castle. And I've been talking to a gentleman who's into like photography and stuff. And uh, this guy on the left hand side is actually join this whole picture here it's absolutely stunning views here guys honestly and uh, we're gonna go for a little walk now towards the castle but look at that for you guys it's absolutely stunning here so i'm gonna walk along this path and we're gonna see where it leads to the castle or not and uh, hopefully we can get a decent view of the uh, scab but look at it guys you know this place is overlooked because people tend to walk to the north bay after they've been to the south bay and you got, look at the views here look at it guys you know you can see the beach you can see the main road into scarborough you can see the ferries wheel and uh, that's where I've come from. I'm outside the Scarborough Castle and unfortunately I've just missed the last admission because they close at 3.30 during the winter season. Um, but for you guys who want time information, this is the listing of the times. So if you want to visit this castle, pause the video and you'll get all the times there. Of opening and closing times um, but I, I was told this castle here is the biggest in the UK and uh, you know it's a shame I, I didn't quite make it um, but you, you would have got an amazing view from the top which will look over the ocean you know, it's a real shame um, but you know guys if you come to Scarborough Get here early if you want to see the magnificent views of Scarborough you know you'll get the best views here from this um, Scarborough castle uh, so highly recommend you come here guys and this is where I am right now so I'm gonna head now towards um, North Bay so see you guys down there
Hey you guys, I'm coming towards uh, North Bay off Scarborough and the time is uh, now 6 p.m. and uh, as you can see the sunset has just gone down you know this is where I am right now as you can see absolutely glorious you know what a fantastic day today in Scarborough and uh, I want to give you guys a recommendation of a rooftop bar that I've just visited. So guys, if you go to South Bay and on the edge of South Bay there's like a rooftop bar before you lead to up to North Bay, um, check out the rooftop bar. Absolutely brilliant service guys. You know, I went for a few drinks in there and when it started to get a bit chilly they gave me a blanket absolutely fantastic service cannot complain at all and uh, i highly recommend you guys to go and check that place out so as you can see guys sunset's gone down and you've got a cafe oasis cafe on that left hand side there You know, it's really, really nice today. And uh, if you come to Scarborough and it's your first time, you know, there's a lot to do in Scarborough. You know, you've got the castle, you've got um, some of the places where you can get amazing views. You know, there's a lot to do in Scarborough. So if you're thinking of coming down here for the summer, off down here guys so now I'm at the start of North Bay as you can see you know the quieter side compared to the South Bay uh, but on this side here you've got the one-stop shop uh, you've got a couple of places where you can have food you've got the Taylor's Barn Kitchen you've got Dexter's and uh, you know, I've come at a good time now because the beach won't be packed, it won't be busy. So, you know, you, if you want to come to the beach and you want to come, you want to come for an evening walk, then this is the best time to come. So, we're going to go for a little walk along the beach here quickly. And, uh, you know, you've got some modern apartments on this left-hand side here. You know, the sun's gone down. And look at it. Absolutely beautiful here at sunset here. You know, have a little look around, guys. Absolutely awesome. So I'm going to wrap up this Scarborough vlog guys, hope you've enjoyed it, you know I've had a fantastic day here, you know if you've not been to Scarborough before and you want to come get yourself here guys, you know it's going to be really really busy in the summer, you know there are lots of things to see and do here, it's an absolutely fantastic place to come. So I just want to say thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, God bless, and hope to see you guys on the next one.